Mr. Sudhans. Continue the poem of this chapter that concept proteins. What are proteins? Proteins are the most abundant molecules of the living system. Chief sources of the proteins are milk, cheese, pulses, peanuts, fish, meat, etc. Where proteins are available. They occur every part of the body. Proteins are occurs every part of the body and form the fundamental basis of structure and functions of the life. Structure and function of the life. They are also required for the growth and the maintenance of the body. This is very important. Proteins are required for the growth and maintenance of the body. Yes, the protein. The word protein is derived from the Greek word named proteos. Proteos, which means proteos means uh, proteos is a Greek word. It means in English primary or first. Primary or first or primary important, first importance. Now the definition for the proteins. All the proteins are polymers of alpha amino acids. All proteins are polymers of alpha amino acids or building blocks. General form of the amino acids. Now because the proteins are made up of amino acids, the amino acids general formula R C H NH2 COH. It means it is having bifunctional. One is the amino group and one is acidic group. Acidic it is acidic in nature and it is NH2 is in basic in nature. Where R is in changes. R is variable. Then alkyl R I. R cyclic. R is variable and NH2 COH are same. Where R may be methyl, methyl or hydrogen. Are cyclic or uh, aromatic. The definition for the amino acids. Uh, polymers of amino acids forms the proteins. Amino acids contain one amino group, functional group, one amino NH2 as a functional group and carboxyl group. NH2 group and COS carboxyl group. Depending upon the position of the amino group, NH2 group, with respect to carboxyl group, with respect to the carboxyl COH group, amino acids are classified as alpha, beta, gamma, delta, and so on. Now, what is the name, please? It is the first carbon after the functional group. First carbon is alpha. Alpha amino acid. If it is NH group is attached to the next carbon, it is beta. Like that, alpha, beta, gamma, and delta. We name. All the amino acids have trivalent trivalent or mononyms. Mono adjective means only one letter can be used for the name. Here, trivalent means three words. Minimum three words are used for the the nomenclature, uh, for example, glycine. In glycine, use these three words. Use for trivalent. One name means only three is used for the name, which are usually reflect the names. Names of the amino acids usually reflect the property of the compound or its source. Or its source, and generally. Glycine. Glycine is a Greek word. Glycos means glycos means sweet in taste. Sweet taste. Sweet taste is a source, some property of the compound. Sweet. Sweet in Greek part of glycine. So the uh, my acid name is glycine. Like how many amino acids are there? Naturally, 20 amino acids are there. 20 amino acids.
among the 20 amino acids, 20 are essential amino acids, uh, 10 are amino, uh, essential amino acids, 10 are non essential amino acids. Let's say the 20 amino acids. Again, amino acids are classified acidic, basic, and neutral amino acids. Word is T H R. One letter word T. 
that P nine alanine, P nine alanine, and uh, their uh, reactions. Alanine is a CH three. Alanine is CH three. R is CH three. Here it is also alanine, but P nine one hydrogen in the CH three hydrogen replaced by benzene ring C six H five. So that P nine alanine. Then P nine alanine and three letter symbol is P H E. One letter symbol Y. Methionine. Methionine. Here we indicate the methyl methyl. Yes, it is a sulfur. C H two. C H two C H two. And this is the alkyl point. Yes, name is methionine. Yam E T is a three letter symbol. One letter symbol. Yes, yes, yam. Capital M. Letter system. And R group is C H two S H. It's the alkyl part containing uh, amine acids and other things. C H two C O H. C Y S. It's a three letter word. One letter word. Capital S. I will continue with the neutral amine acids and acidic and basic. Acid. 
So it is also have one acetyl group, two acetyl groups. So that it is acetic ammonia acid. Where R is CH2COH, here R is CH2CH2COH. Glutamic acid. Same one. Uh, three letters in one blue, one letters in one E. Now basic common acids. Just twice what's up. Here basic common acid means more NH2 groups are present compared to the acidic COH groups. Say lysine in that only one COH, one acidic group, but more NH2 groups. Here one NH2, one NH2. Two basic groups. One acidic group, so that it is basic amino acid. Like that, arginine. One acidic group, one, two, three, four. How many? Four amino group, four amino, four basic group. So that basic character is, suppose basic nature is more compared to acidic. Basic amino acid, name arginine, means R is, here R is. CH2, CH2 twice NH, CH2 NH. Arginine. Here, star indicates that these are essential amino acids. Star indicates essential amino acids. They are not synthesized in our body, so that uh, they are uh, taken in the food. Histidine. Histidine. It is also having the two amino acids, NH2 and to in the structure, so that more basic compared to the acidic. So it is a basic amino acid, namely histidine, three get to one H I S, and one get to one H. And one is aspartame. Aspartame is also uh, basic amino acids. Here one C O H. Here how many basic one and two. Two basic units. It means more basic nature compared to acidic. Symbol A S N and one letter N. Like the last ten kind of basic amino acids, glutamine. Symbol Z L N and one letter symbol Q. Here one acidic group, one two basic group. So it is basic amino acid named glutamine. Glutamic acid is a acetic acid. Glutamine is a basic amino acid.